Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4, episode 20. So today I would actually like to start off by doing some automation to get some leather. So let's get on with that. The first thing I'd like to make is a turtle. I think we'll make an advanced turtle for a change. So first of all we need a com advanced computer which we can make like this. So we'll make one of those. And I also need noticed we needed a chest. I think I've got some chests in my bag here. 37, right. Um, so we should be able to make this now. I think this is the cheapest way of doing it. You'll notice it doesn't show up until you click it off like that. I'll put the gold back. We don't need any more of that. We don't need any more glass panes. We don't need any more redstone. We do need a hopper. Um, I might have one of those in my bag as well. If not, I've got it in here. Yes, I've got a hopper in here. And what else do we need? Oh, yes, I need a drying rack. So let's make a quick drying rack. I think I should have some slabs. Let's take half of these slabs. Try that again. <laughs> make some oak slabs. Uh, an oak drying rack. Like this. What else do we need? I think that's about it, actually. Ah, thunderstorm going on. Oh, maybe it's not a thunderstorm going on. It might be that I've extended some graves out here. Uh, I've moved them about, about a bit and extended them. So, yes, there you are. One of those has been hit. Actually, two of them have been hit. Because I wanted some more graves. Um, I'll move these around again some sometime. Because I want to do some disenchanting to start with. That's one of the goals. You'll also notice this. I've got a charging station for... Um, building gadgets. I, that's what I was using to replace some of the stone in the. Oops, what did I press there? In in the tunnel towards the village. So now, but I'm not going to cover building gadgets. It's not my thing really. Uh, so what we're going to do? I'll just, we've got some space down here. Let's just do it down here. There's a reasonable amount of space down here, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a turtle down here, like this. And I don't have to put any tool, any tools on it or anything like that. We'll just put the turtle down like that. And then I'm going to put in front of it here a drying rack. Uh, on the, I think I'll be on this block here like this. So it, the turtle will be able to see the drying rack. And on, to, on top of the drying rack I'm going to put a hopper. Now, right click at that, that. So it's actually pointing down into that. So whenever take some rotting flesh like this put that into here it'll get fed out of here and then this will cook now at the moment we can't see anything in here because this is the wrong way around so let's just turn this um around so let's go we have to go to into lua first of all the ua and then we'll have to we'll have to say turtle turn i think it's actually turned left in fact so it's now facing this block here so what you can do is you can do a turtle inspect if I can't spell I'm not having difficulty inspect so what that says is it's got an oak drying rack it's facing north and it's waterlogged is f false I'm not quite sure what the waterlogged bit means but anyway it says it's an oak drying rack it doesn't see what's on it but you can actually pick this up so we can say turtle suck for instance which will which will try again which will actually pull items out of the inventory and as it does that it then start it puts another one of these down like this so now we're going to write a little program so let's exit out of here we know what the mechanisms the mechanic mechanics now so we'll we'll do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit start up again Actually not. Let's let's call it let's call it um, a different name. What should we call it? Um, what's this one? It's called leather. Okay, we'll call it leather. Like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that, that we're going to need to cook. So I'm going to set some variables up here. You, you normally use like local for this stuff like this. So we'll have say cook. And cook equals 30. Now what that means is it takes 30 seconds to cook a piece of rotting flesh into that. And then we're going to go and basically do it. Um, I'm actually going to set up another one of these as well. I'm going to set up um, a delay. 
Like this, and the delay is going to equal to a math function, and we're going to say we want the ceiling, ceiling, of cook divided by sixteen. Now, sixteen is the number of uh, redstone levels that you can have, like this. And then we could actually say we could we could print them out if you like. Print. Oops try again third time lucky so we'll print cook and we'll also print delay now what that means is cook is 30 divided by 16 is slightly less than 2 but with a math seal we'll push it up to 2 that's what it's actually saying in here like that so let's control and save oops I press that control and save it and control and run it okay so it says it's doing 13 it's going to do two so it maybe sounds a bit complicated I'll tell you what i'll do I'll, I'll, I'll write the rest of the program but i won't do it now i'll just do it and then we'll look at it again in a few seconds i'm going to press enter to continue press any key to continue right okay uh, so we go back to the app okay see you in a second so here's the rest of the program so we're going to do a while loop, which basically runs forever. And then we're going to we're going to have another enter another loop. We're going to go and we're going to go for basically we're going to count down from fifteen to zero, going in steps of minus one. And then we're going to sleep for this delay. Now the delay is basically two, so it's going to sleep for thirty two seconds, and it's going to suck. So it should pull in the next piece of leather. So let's have a look see if this actually works. So it's taking this out now. If we actually press escape, we should see it after 30 seconds take this piece of leather out of here, off here, and then it'll it'll put the next one will fall down in its place. So that I do that in that order because I'm going to put this into the startup in the same way as we did it before. So a few seconds now, we should get a countdown, and it should take this off. Well, I've got to wait a little bit longer, and how long I've got to wait for, and then we'll get a piece of rotting flesh in here like that. So, 30 seconds time, this will do this. But what I'd also like to do is I'd like to get, I should have brought this with me already, a piece of redstone. I just want a bit of redstone out of here. One redstone dust will do. And I'm going to put this down below it. underneath here like this and we're going to use this as an indicator to tell us when the next piece when it's going to change and <laughs> just for fun really there you see it's gone so that it takes the next piece along and it, it starts to do it again so now i have got three pieces of leather zombie leather in here um now i have to kill this program i want to kill the program so we have to press ctrl t if you remember rightly yep. to kill the program narrator. and then narrator we get system. the irritating narrator narrator off but that's the best setting for narrator. I can't see any purpose for that at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's really just somebody's idea of fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put here, I'm going to set the output of the redstone le um, level here. So let's press, a, do I have to press escape. No, I have to press control, do I? Oh, we can save it, first of all. So let's go down here and then we can press into here. We'll put a redstone signal. So we have a redstone, which is RS, and we can do a set analog output. An analog output basically will give it the level that you set it to be. And press tab guard And then what we want to do is we want to set it onto the bottom. And we want to say the level is going to be uh, the value of I. Like this. And what it's going to do is now I can set a redstone output. So let's just see what happens when we do that. So if I save this again, save it, and then run it, so we should see this now has a level and it's going to go down. It's going to go down. You see, if you can see on the top left hand corner, we'll see it's getting going down. And when that goes to zero, it's going to take this off. In fact, while we're doing that, we might as well get some more rotting flesh out of here put that into here like this and see now it's at six every so every two seconds it's going to go down one level and then it's going to simply suck this piece of leather up and the reason I've done it at the bottom 
there we go it takes up that one and it puts it into here so now I'm going to break this program again and we're going to put this as a startup program so we'll do control T Narr narrator narrator off and we're going to um, save it and exit now we're going to edit startup like this and all we're going to do is just, as we did before And we're going to say leather. Well, it needs to be in double quotes, of course. Like that. I don't think I need to specify the fact it's a, it's a L L UA at the end. I think you can just save it like that. So now we can run startup. So it's now starting this program. And it's going to basically take all of this leather, out, all of this rotting flesh out of here process it and it'll all end up in here what you can't do with um, turtles that you should be able to do is to craft it's a function that hasn't been implemented yet which is a shame but because then we could actually craft these into pieces real pieces of leather could simply move the slot around like this and then when it's got one we could say craft and it'll craft them all up anyway it doesn't so you'll see it's going to go down there take the next one so whenever this we go out of range of this it's going to basically um when we go out of range what it's going to do is it's going to go and um uh, brain's gone dead it's, it'll restart again so it'll carry on right that was hard work so the, the next thing i'm going to do what i'd like to do is today is to do a lot of this mod called apotheosis i think this mod here now this mod basically it's got these hell bookshelves now what these hell bookshelves do is you can set them up and it will allow you to enchant items up to 150 levels and these anvils which can be enchanted which is actually we could put one on mending for example and i can mend it rather than let it break these um or splitting i think is another one which prevents it from damage or something like this what we can do with these is um enchant item map combine enchants at up to any level there's no limit before in normal vanilla there's 40 so you see 40 in here and the other thing that's interesting here are the altar of the sea which is oh it needs the heart of the sea now now that's actually changed <laughs> um when i looked at this last or when i look in the in the um wiki it was actually a lantern a sea lantern for this one that makes life a bit more difficult doesn't it um i'm not sure where to get the heart of the sea lantern's no big deal <laughs> and i was actually planning to go and visit a, a monument today well actually we'll do that anyway but between now and then i've just got to get some more oh i didn't show you the rest of that recipe did i um this one blaze rods and i need to get some potions of regeneration potions of regeneration um 45 seconds are basically the gas tears so i shall be back in a while i'm going to go down to the nether and i'm going to do some um mob grinding until i get what other, a reasonable amount so we can build one of the or two of these bookshelves so i'll see you in a short while right i'm back i've got nine gas tears and i've 31 blaze rods but of course i need to make some books and the like i haven't done that yet <clears throat> so but i have been hearing a lot of lightning and what i've done here is i've extended this a bit and every once in a while there's a lightning strike that hits one of these now the reason i've been doing this is i really want to get some uh, enchants off things like magic protection and feather falling three protection two and multi-jump and here comes a trader. I wonder what he's got to offer. So, <coughs> let's have a look. Let's go and speak to him. Travelling traders, what I'm looking for is another. Where's he gone to? <laughs> Come back. When you when you want them, they disappear. When you don't want them, they don't. Huh? So he's got basically sleep charm. Not so bothered about that. Blue dye, one coral block. I don't really. No, no nothing there. We really want. <coughs> I was hoping to see a lightning bolt. Basically, they come any time 
And it, and it doesn't have to be dark for those to come. Hello, spider. What are you doing there? I should say, what were you doing there? Right. <clears throat> so I'm not going to start building these bits and pieces. Of course, I've been breeding a few cattle and sheep up for for bits and for some leather as well. Oh, there we, there we go. I've just missed it. Typical, isn't it? So one of these, that one there, has now got an, a spirit attached to it. And the last one will probably be... These six will come later on. So, first thing we need to do is to brew some potions. Now, I have got in here six bottles of potions. So let's get these brewed. So we need some nether wart. Let's put some nether wart in there. What else do we need? Let's have a look. We need some books, don't we? So for that, we need leather. Uh, I should have leather, actually, as it happens. Yes, we've got leather in there. And I also need some paper. Now, obviously, there's, I've been collecting paper for trading purposes. Uh, so I've got plenty of paper. So we'll make as many books as we can. Uh, I've just heard the thing do its business. So let's make 21. Yeah, that'll be fine. 21 books. That basically means seven bookshelves. Um, if my arithmetic is still correct, and it's been awful recently, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know what's happened to it. So right, we've got some now awkward potions, so let's put down a gust here in here like this. I want to make sure I keep a gust here. And I've also been making some bits and pieces in here, so I've got some nether bricks in here. So we need nether bricks as well for this. Uh, I've actually got four stacks of nether War, uh, another atlas cooking up there so what else did we need we've got i think that's basically it we need bookshelves that's right so what do we need for bookshelves how many pieces do we need for seven 42 i think well, that would be enough will it let's do it like this in fact probably what's better of doing let's use the the wood from the fishing driftwood so 42 I th six basically it's six times seven <clears throat> okay that should be enough so seven bookshelves should be like this good I suppose it worked for a change <coughs> now we need nether bricks so I've got 66, probably need another, I'm not quite sure, arithmetic's just too, oh wrong place, can't get into that one can I? It'll be 16, and let's go back to the hell, well actually at Apotho, we'll do so this one here, Apotheosis, making these hell shelves. So we need six of those, one bookshelf, one regeneration potion, and one blaze rod. So we should be able to make, th uh, th well, we should be able to make seven, but it's going to take a while because I don't think, yes, these are made, but of course I've got no inventory space. So let's just clear up some inventory space in here. That can go in there, that can go into here. These two boots, I would like to disenchant go in here. Actually, I've got some more bits and pieces I'd quite like to disenchant too. Like this one here, Protection 8. That is, oh yes, of course. These, both of these two here, are basically super mobs from Apotheosis. Um, Anderson's Guilt Pants. So these get this occult version which basically re reduces magic. It's also got magic protection on it, 7. Uh, well, very high levels. And this one's got Occult of version uh, 3 and protection 8. So they're <laughs> pretty impressive things, aren't they? This one's got magic protection 1. This has got Gorman 2. Now, I would like to put Gorman 2 onto the um, onto the helmet, if I can. Um, this one's got feather falling th 3 on it. And I think one of these is feather falling. This one would be nice to disenchant as well. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So let's carry on with this. 
So now, the recipe for this is this one. What am I missing? Oh, yes, protection potion. I need to take two of these off here, can't I? If I can take all three off, it would be better. Um, let's do it like this. No, I haven't got enough of that. Oh, actually, give me one more, won't it? But I have probably got some more in here as it happens. Um, nether bricks, eight, good. Because when I was at the fortress, I did a bit, a bit of that. So I wanted the third one of these, didn't I? Let's get that out of here. And then let's see if we can make up these bookshelves. All right, make one. They do stack. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't let me do this. Oh, because these aren't stacking, aren't they? So we have six left, so we can do four. Okay, so I need the fourth one. Have I got everything I need? No, I need some more bottles, don't I? So in here I've got some more bottles somewhat oh there we go top let's push these into here like that where's the third one can't see if you're trying I only pick up two maybe I only had space for two yes I did okay another wall let us get cooking and then we can put in a gas tier we'll just put the other seven gas tiers back into the mob drops chest and you'll see how many skeletons wither skeletons I did grind quite a few wither skeletons in fact I actually got a withered skeleton spawner egg and that's really good because what that means is I can take an ordinary spawner and convert it to a wither skeleton spawner and same with magna creams I've got a, a magna cube a spawn egg I've got a skeleton spawn egg and an enderman well actually three enderman spawn eggs so we can convert four spawners to being those types because apotheosis has this quite a lot of stuff in it as it happens you can see from here um other than the other than the actual books and the, the different enchants that they've got in here they've got various splash potions of absorption various arrows Altar of the Sea, this is an interesting one, except it's going to be a bit difficult to do because it needs a Heart of the Sea. Now what this is supposed to be able to do is to take enchants from one useless, it says, useless in armour, put it on something better. So I'd like to do that, but I've got to find the Heart of the Sea. Um, what else is it? This is Tomb of the Scraping, this might be another one that's interesting. This will make eight Tombs of the Scraping, which basically moves enchants, taking some of them as its own will consume the item in the process mm, I'm not sure which is better to do it that way that's just 31 iron plus 8 books to make 8 books mm, maybe that's more expensive than doing the way I like doing it the way we're doing it to the moment to be honest with you it's good so those will be converted now to all good potion let's get these made into that um, what else did I want to do down here? I've got enough for that. Oh, that's right. I wanted to sit up and do a comparison. So for that, I need my axe. Now, in here, I've got my... One of these really... This is a really amazing axe. Bones plus good. Like sharpness 10, mending, hell fusion, mounting strike, looting 5. I probably should take that with me when I'm going to visit the... And this one has got silk touch in it. So silk touch will be good for now. And I heard these things go through. So let's just take one of those. Um, and make the last of the bookshelves. Let's do a recipe here. And we can compare. We've got some ordinary bookshelves here. We can compare one against one, as it were. So let's have a look. Now I'm going to do it down here, where I had where I set up this program earlier on. And as you can see, all of this has been converted. I well, actually did loads to zombie leather. Let's just put down here the um, a book. Oh, actually, let's just put down an enchanting table which I have left behind. I need to go and get the enchanting table. In fact, while I'm there, let's go and 
disenchant these items in here. So we've got a load of books already prepared to, to put onto this stuff, but I don't have enough XP. Um, see, for a f four of these are certainly already ready to go. I wonder if this one's got a problem because it's under a tree. Oh, it might well have actually. Because this one has got daylight. Ah, okay. I better chop this down in that case. Let's uh, it's a bit of fool. What's, I've got my axe here. Let's or excavate it away. Oh, hello. Don't need you at the moment. Thank you very much. Have I not got my um, boots on? I haven't got my boots on. Bad. All right. Let's or excavate this way. And that should allow us to get struck by lightning. So while that's getting, while that's doing that, let's just oh, full inventory. It's not surprising. Let's just um, take off some chunks in here. Actually, I can't do that. Do want, I'll be back in a second when I've got a bit of space. Well, clean up your inventory a lot. Um, let's just put down lots of these in here and the books and the boots in here to start with. And we've got four enchants. That should be enough to do those two bits so we've got the, the three three enchants from the boots and plus i wanted to swap this one over here and do the last one if we can do over here yeah the spirit takes a few seconds to disappear so we've got gorman 2 so we can put gorman 2 on the helmet and basically what that enchant does is allows the food to go further so when you eat stuff it, it lasts longer i haven't actually tried it i've got to be honest i'm in the wrong place um <clears throat> i also need from here the enchanting table which i forgot to take out as well don't ask me why i've got a stone sword in it because it got magnet it kept getting attracted so i eventually gave up so now let's have a look this has got on it shadow step and f falling and this has actually got night vision. And I think the night vision, to, to add onto that the Gorman 2 and the night vision costs something like 30.03. Interesting. I wonder if I had a different enchant on here last time. Because it cost me 35 and I couldn't do it. But anyway, we'll try that one to start with. And the boots. Tell you what we'll do with the boots. I've got a pair that's leggings here. I've got an ordinary pair of boots here. Nah, I'm not sure which way around to do it. So what I could do is put uh say Feather Falling 3, a multi-jump on here. Let's put Feather Falling 3 on here because we do take quite a lot of damage. What else? Protection 2. See how much it costs. 7 for that one. Protection costs 9. And the last one, multi jump costs 19. I'll do it because I, I can always repair these boots anyway. I'm not sure how it's going to cost to repair. Let's just find out. You've got two ways you can do it through boats, and of course, you can do it with ingots. Now, Neptunium ingots, we've got quite a few, and I think they should be in here 35 is the top. I was obviously I was obviously fishing for quite a long time. In fact, while I'm actually in here, let's get rid of the armor stuff that I've disenchanted. That was one. And the helmet? That's oh, probably still in my off hand, isn't it? Yep, it is indeed. Thank you. So I've got no idea how much it's going to cost to repair this. Let's just see. Five. Oh, that's not too bad as it happens. And these cost. 34 to repair can't be right. Oh, indeed it is. Okay. Now, XP. I think I recovered XP from the scroll last time. I didn't show you that. That's, that's the further falling one. This is a village. You need to return tablets. Yeah, I did actually recover it all. Um, I think we've got some some more stuff maybe we were a bit a mine shaft distance 78 well i think we know where that one is <laughs> igloo monument 
I've got the monument already. Buried treasure. Maybe that's a good one to take. Shipwreck. You know, um, these might be very near the monument. I said seven. I have a look at that. It's easier to see when you put them together, isn't it? Oh no, <laughs> very far away. Um, all right. What did I pick up? Monument. I don't need the monument, no one, do I? That's, I've got, I've got one already on me. Um, maybe this one, very treasure, will be useful to have. Um, we have to enchant it with a grave, and I think all my graves are got no spirits on them at the moment. No, I have to wait. Oh, yep. Oh. All right. That's just having said that, I've got some spirits already. These guys aren't going to attack me, and if they are, they're not going to do very much good because it's daytime. So I've got actually three. Fantastic. So we can actually enchant one of those. Buried treasure. I'm actually earning quite a few points of, of knowledge for that one. And there goes another one. There should, there should be another one just to come up. I think it was one of these two. Oh, wow. Actually, that gave me a shock. <laughs> so you see how the spirits are working. Got nothing to do with real thunderstorms. They just happen. Every half. Oh, I can't do that without. Can I remember? So now, I wanted to enchant. Those are already, already enchanted. That's fine. So I've got nine vision and gourmand. Yeah, that's good. I'll get rid of these trees. I don't need those. I'll get rid of the ingots. I don't need those for the time being. Oh yes, we want to do the, some enchanting, didn't we? What have we got here that we can actually enchant? Nothing. Yes, I've got my pickaxe here. All right, let's go and take go downstairs and see how they compare the two things here. So, first thing to do, let's put down a bookshelf. No, first thing to do is to put down enchanting table. Like that. And then we can put it, our um, pickaxe into it. And you'll see the maximum level hit, level hit is three. You know what I should do? Just in case I get a good enchant while I'm doing this. Let's get some lapis lazuli. And uh, be ready to do it. I've also got 48 sugar. Uh, XP sugar. What's the other? I can't remember the name of it. Depends really. Um what did I want? Lapis, didn't I? Um, six. Yep, six. That'll give me plenty. Four, 54, isn't it? I'll do it like this. So, lapis and XP. Now, XP I've been, I've kept in here. We're basically been hitting this with sugar. It actually filled up. The maximum level was four and nine six. So, I think you have to have an empty hand to do this, don't we? That's two, two eight thirteen. So when he gets the four, it doesn't take any more. It just fills up, and that's it. Finished with. So right, let's try this again. So here we get minus fever, efficiency one, and tombstone. So maximum here is three. Let's put down an ordinary bookshelf. Just one. Obviously we can put it wherever we like, but let's put it down there. And let's put it back in here, the pickaxe, and see what happens. We still get three. It has actually gone up a bit. Um, but the first time you put in, you get three. So now let's remove that and then pick it up with this. This tree capacitator, which basically gives it me back without breaking, so I don't lose the wood. Well, let's try that with a hellfire, hell shelf. Now this is supposed to give you double the enchants. So this time we got four, so we've unbreaking one, soul bound, and efficiency one. Pretty good. Let's try that again. Put the next one down here. Let's do it like that. Let's, so have four of these are going to give me what? So level 16, so I've got reach 2, efficiency 2, and stone mending. Oh, 
I wonder what stone mending is. I have no idea. In fact, while I'm while I'm here, let's just put down these other bookshelves and see if it makes any difference. So level twenty two efficiency, three reach, two and stone mending. How many sixteen levels? You know, I do not know what stone mending is. I will be back in a second and find out what that means. Okay, so it's a chance to restore durability when mining stone. Well, that's actually pretty useful. Maybe we'll do it. I don't know. Because I can basically eat the sugar now, and that will give me... Let's eat the sugar. XP. So we wanted to have 16 levels. Which actually doesn't take too long at this. There we go, 16 levels. So we can do stone mending on this pick. Let's put those into there. That's reached two. Oh, stone mending was one, was this one here, wasn't it? So it's got stone mending on it now. Okay, maybe that's good. We'll see. So I'll put this back now. I'll leave these in chance into, in this, into here and try to remember where it is. And I think I'm prepared. So. What we now are going to do is we're going to go to a ocean monument very quickly and I probably won't do very much. So all I'm preparing to do with this is to get out of here the stuff that I need. So in one of these I have got prepared a bow. So I'm just a look at that. I'm just having a quick look at what we've there's a mending one here that's pretty good. Now oh yes I forgot. I did put mending on here. Now you can put mending on a bow with infinity we couldn't i don't think you can do it in vanilla so maybe that's one of the apotheosis or ensorcellation changes in magnet three that's what i want to put on and quick draw i want to put those on a bow uh, and i've got a bow enchanted ready for that where they where have i put it <laughs> let me double check it's not in there but i need this stuff out of here anyway if I did that, I don't need to take the rest of this stuff. We will take the sleeping bag, of course. And maybe I'll take that. So look, where did I put that bow? Here we go. So I've got this one already half enchanted. So I've got it enchanted with infinity and power five. So now I need to go back. And of course, I need to go and get my XP. Oh, I only use one level. That's interesting. Oops. So let's have a look. How much, what level do I need to do this one for? So that's actually for, that's a good one because it'll make it go faster. And this one here is magnet. Um, let's have a look how much magnet costs because I would like to do that nine. Okay, good. Let's do quick. Eight. So I only need eight XP now. So let's eat this and get the eight XP. Probably about one sugar. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> let's try again. So this with quick draw will get a quick draw, pretty decent bow in its own right. Now the advantage of the Neptunian bow is it works underwater. In fact, I think it yeah makes arrows go smoothly through water you cannot use all the intents on here for example i cannot enchant this with um what am i thinking about you can't enchant it with a uh, true shot doesn't work some of these just don't apply okay buried treasure that's the return scroll so we can get home if, if the worst happens what else do i need I need, I've got some milk. I'll take some milk with me. Just in case. I'll take the bow with me. I need some arrows. While this has got infinity on it, it doesn't work with... Ah, oh, hello. I could demonstrate it then. Uh, it doesn't work with um, out an arrow. Now, I've got some arrows in this bag here. I think I've got five. So just, just need one, and then it'll work just fine. Um, just thinking I've got a load of stuff in there I really don't need to take with me just in case. We don't need 64 stone. I'll leave the tools in there. Well, I'll probably get rid of most of this slabs. I'll take a stack of slabs just in case. I want to stun doors. That's the other thing. It's well worth taking with us to the 
to an ocean monument um, even if you don't and I don't need them as much as I used to so let's make some doors we should get tw uh, 12 yes good so I'm going to put away these into here like this and the steps as well they've gone in I think so doors arrows shulker box is going to be useful we keep some milk bucket XP I'll leave here and these will put away and, the, and this will put in here and I think that's oh stone put the stone up in here like that and these books we don't need to take with us we'll put those into this chest so I think I'm ready I've got my captive dream sword this is actually an awesome sword let's change the axe because that's got looting four but the other axe this one here has got bone splitters got looting five so it's even better don't need that bow um we'll take it with us anyway just in case i think that's everything i was going to just test this bow on this guy oh he's gone back he was lucky right so let's go to the ocean monument so i don't need that bag i want this one yeah what time of day is it it's night time i think it's night time let's have a quick sleep and i'll be off i'll see you in a second <laughs> 